off to 911. That's what you hope to hear when you have an emergency and you call 911. But last year, 6,000 of those calls were answered by a machine asking the caller to please wait for the next available agent. Well, this year, that number is up to 9,000, according to the city, and there's five more months left in this year. The shortage of 911 call takers is a topic that Austin's Public Safety Commission is talking about right now. Let's go ahead and go live to our city reporter, Reagan Hackleman, who's at the meeting with more on the shortage. Reagan? Well, Leslie, the Public Safety Commission actually just wrapped up their meeting here a few minutes ago. Now, the commission simply makes recommendations to the Austin City Council. Their recommendations when it comes to the shortage of 911 call takers, the city needs to hire more. Last year, people in the Austin area made almost a million calls to 911. Well, I think we want to look at 911 as the front door, and you ring the doorbell, and does anyone answer? According to the city, 97% of the time, someone answered that call within 10 seconds. But many people instead hear a taped voice asking them to wait for the next available agent. In 2010, almost 6,000 callers heard that message. So far this year, close to 10,000 people have heard the message. Those numbers are simply too high for the chair of Austin's Public Safety Commission. And we don't want to leave the impression that, in effect, you can't get help when you call for it. The manager of Austin's 911 call center says the city needs to hire roughly 50 people in order to make up for the shortage. The city is currently filling the shortage by spending more than a million dollars in overtime, yet it's not enough. When compared to other cities roughly the same size as Austin, the capital city comes up far short in 911 call takers. Our responsibility today before the budget is made is to try to urge the city council to look at this issue and, and, and make some adjustments. The 911 call center's budget comes directly as part of the Austin Police Department's budget. Chief Acevedo left City Hall here just a few minutes ago. KXA and Shannon Wolfson talked to him about this, and she'll have much more on that later tonight at KXA News at 10 o'clock. Reporting live from City Hall, Reagan Hackleman, KXA News.